Hello once again and welcome to our Joomla video tutorial. So uh, our topic for today is how to create a contact page for your website. So normally uh, if uh, you have a website you should need to have a contact us page uh, so that uh, so that uh, everybody knows that your website is legit and not uh, just a uh, phishing site so uh, now we will show you in Joomla 4 how to create a contact page uh, without any extensions or any programming or any hard coding needed to create a new one so for this to do this we go to our Joomla administrator so here is our main dashboard to Joomla 4 so in our previous video we have uh, we have uh, showed you how to change the logo to change the uh, color and modified uh, some of the admin so if you followed our video uh, you will see how you you can uh, customize your Joomla both back, back end and front end so now to do this to create a contact us page uh, you need to go to components. Uh, you can click this uh, item right here, components dashboard, and then uh, go to contacts. Yeah. So here you don't have any contact yet because uh, in our previous video uh, we installed a demo site, and uh, normally if you also install a, a fresh Joomla site, uh, it looks like this as well. It's just a similar. So to create a new one, so add your first contact and then uh, you can add the user. Normally you put the administrator user. There you go. And then uh, you can put some email if you want. So let's say info at uh, whatever domain. Huh? Uh, so your domain, let's say your domain that come here and then uh, you can put the address if you need so like PO box uh, s something uh, just something at your address okay and then uh, you can put the city you may in or a zip code or a country so in this example we just leave it as it is and then uh, you can put the telephone number so right there and then uh, you can also put a mobile number here uh, if you have fax then if you have your website so uh, let's say uh, your website dot com this is more on presentation actually and then uh, you can add also miscellaneous information so you can type it here uh, just for our uh, identification purposes so we just choose miscellaneous information information we type here and then uh, you could also go to the display if you want to show miscellaneous uh, if you want to show other so this is uh, the way you can uh, hide them or show them and uh, if you want to show the contact form and uh, publishing so this name we can put it uh, admin contact yeah and then let's just put the uh, save and close now after creating a first contact admin page we need it to add in our main menu so that it can be displayed in our front end so go to main menu so we got only one home page right here and this is the default the home so we just add a new one and then uh, you need to create select and then contacts and select single contact right here and then select a contact and that is the one that we have uh, 
added earlier so select that one and then you have some uh, contact display options right here mail link uh, let's just uh, put uh, this uh, as a default right now so all we need to do is just put the required this is the single contact the, the one with asterisk is the required and then uh, let's put this in the main menu so the parent is uh, no parent and then let's just put this contact us and then let's click save yeah now our, our contact page is already saved and then uh, you can open our main website or the front end website now we can go to our main menu and then we have here a contact us page that we have created so if uh, someone will uh, click this one so they can uh, send uh, an email actually so if if you check our info details we put something PO box here and then the telephone number mobile and your website and then here we put something uh, information about miscellaneous so whatever you type in here uh, it is not necessary actually but if you have like uh, something policy you can put it also here so now I will try so uh, I will try to send an email so this is my name is I put say testing email yeah and then uh, I would say uh, my email was info at the dev .com. then I was I will put a subject uh, because these are required there's there is an asterisk on this one so we cannot skip for this one so this is just a demo site testing uh, testing email and then uh, we'll put our message please uh, do not forget to subscribe something like that now this is an example anyway and then I'll press send Now our email was sent actually to the admin or the owner or you are the owner of the site so it was sent uh, our inquiry from there. So uh, now if you have errors in sending an uh, email you can check our previous video on how to uh, set uh, an email to your Joomla account using the admin so that uh, this error won't happen. Uh, in case uh, if you sent an as you sent a message, then uh, it could be that there is some misconfigurations between uh, your email in the global configuration. So we have video for that one. Uh, you can check that uh, as well. So I think now you know how to uh, create your contact form, and uh, you can add or you can customize it. You can play around it or explore some uh, fields that you want to input okay so now uh, there you go uh, we have successfully managed to add contact us now, thank you for watching and uh, see you in our next tutorial video for Joomla tips and tricks uh, so yeah goodbye for now and uh, see you in our next video Bye.